All right, now we all own clothes, right? We all have clothes. Some of us actually want to buy more clothes, but do we really know whether the clothes we own are quality or not? And I'm quite sure that that's a question you guys have asked yourselves as well. Well, today I have five ways you can see whether your clothes are quality or not. If you're interested, let's hop into it. All right, now first thing you're gonna have to look at when you buy your clothes is whether the company or label or brand, whatever you wanna call it, actually gives you the details about the piece of clothing that you wanna buy. Like for instance, how to wash it, whether it should be dry cleaned and how to iron it. The details should basically be about the content of your piece of clothing or if not the content then the type of material the clothing is actually made out of so the next time you buy clothes just check if the brand actually gives you the details on how to take care of that piece of clothing all right the second thing you guys are gonna have to basically start doing is to just give your clothes a good stretch yeah you should give your clothes a good stretch because good quality clothes don't become limb after a good stretch if anything quality clothes actually bounce back into shape very quickly so the next time you actually think of buying new clothes just first check whether the clothes actually make a good recovery pull a tiny section with your fingers and then that way you'll be able to see whether your clothes are quality or not if the clothes actually bounce back then you probably made a good investment and if it doesn't right now the third thing you guys will have to look at is to see whether the brand actually gives you guys a good warranty now what this basically means is the brand or the designer actually believes in the quality of the product that they're selling to you because if you think about it it doesn't make sense for the brand or the designer to promise a refund knowing that their clothes are going to fall apart within the first couple of weeks so the next time you buy clothes and the brand actually gives you a warranty then you most likely made a good investment all right the fourth thing is to just look where your piece of clothing is from because there are some countries or nations that actually specialize in a specific kind of clothing like for example japan specializes in raw denim england specializes in its traditional shoes and italy specializes in its shop tailoring and craftsmanship basically suits so the next time you think of buying clothes just look where the clothes are actually from okay and see whether that country specializes in that specific material or clothing all right now tip number five is to basically understand your fabrics now you get two types of categories when it comes to fabrics you get synthetics and natural fibers now natural fibers are normally associated with good quality and comfort like for example cotton it is known to be very breathable and feels quite good on the skin whereas synthetics are normally associated with bad quality and feel quite uncomfortable on the skin but there's a twist natural fibers actually have their disadvantages too like for example wool it is very difficult to wear wool on its own because of its heavy weight and honestly speaking synthetics have actually come a long way actually they have improved in some cases they have actually become a bit better than natural fibers so instead of wearing clothes that are actually made out of raw synthetics or raw natural fibers you should consider wearing clothes that have a blend of both that way you'll have both the qualities of natural fibers and the qualities of synthetics and if you do then you won all right guys that's basically it for this week's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and found it informative if you did don't forget to hit that subscribe button all right